Hi YouTube, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my sneaker pickup number 7. So if you've not seen my last sneaker pickups, I will link it down below. I was going to include my Nike Air Open Max that I've purchased in the last few months. But however, I've already done a video on them. So I'm going to link that video down below as well. And yeah, I'm going to go straight into it. I have already just filmed this, but I was speaking quite quietly. So you probably couldn't even hear me. And I was just like, you know what? We're going to just do it again. It made us zoom you out a little bit. So, I'm just going to start with the ones that are not in the box, I mean, well, that are not in the box. So, first thing I want to show you is my Doc Martens. This is not, obviously, a sneaker, but I thought I'd include it because why not? These are the Doc Martens Sinclair with the zip. Absolutely love these. The only annoying thing was I wanted the Aunt Sally leather because it's softer leather, it's easy to break into. I had to get the smooth polish, which I'm a bit like, it's going to be hard to break into. I've already worn these once and oh, I only went to the shop and I'll tell you this now they were uncomfortable but beauty is pain and pain is beauty and this is the other shoe this is what it looks like with the zip down and the zip is removable which oh, that's why I bought them they literally look like Jaden's without the zip on which I was just like two shoes for the price of one I got these ones from Foot Asylum and I got them for £131 because when I bought them they were doing 20% off and I'm a student so I used machine discount and then I had I think I had a few vouchers left to spend and I ended up buying these. Absolutely love them. It's just got your standard like black and yellow strip down the side. And then it's got the dark markings tag. And yeah. And then there are a platform. I'm 5'7. Thought we need a platform, but it would do. Absolutely love them. I know a lot of people wear these to festivals, I ain't going to any festivals anytime soon but I think they'll be good for the rain and snow and yeah and I got them in a UK 7, they do actually run true to size in my opinion I get a lot of my Doc Martens, actually I only have two pairs so not a lot I got my Doc Martens, both pairs and a size 7 so they are pretty much true to size the next pair I'm going to show you is my slip on vans i have two red slip on vans to show you these are the first ones i got these back in april but they're still available to buy from shoe i get a lot of my vans from shoe foot asylum and the van website i always get asked where i get my vans from i get them for so cheap the best place to get them from is shoe vans office or foot asylum so i got the van slip on um in black flame um, if you don't really know, I already own these in old school and I decided to get the slip-ons. Um, I've been wanting these for the last two years and I was like, I'm not paying £60. That's not a lot for a pair of vans, but I was like, they're going to go on sale eventually. And I got them for £29, so I got them for half the price. And I got them in a UK 7. I have been quite a lot, if you can't tell. That's just the front. And then, yeah, I love the flame on them. I think the flame is actually really cool. And I think that's what I love about them. And yeah. I think they're actually really cool and I got them in a the UK size 7 and funny enough if my old school ones all this rubbed off after one wear however with these ones it hasn't happened and one did offer me to get a refund from ASOS and then rebuy them but back then they had sold out completely so I was like oh I don't want to get a refund I can't rebuy them that's that the next pair of slip on ones I want to show you are these really cool tie dye ones which I got I got them two weeks ago and I got I got them again from Shoe and these ones are different but I saw these at the start of the year or last year I can't remember when I saw them but when I see something that I want I kind of like take a picture of it and I have it on my phone it's like manifesting it into your life in my opinion so I tend to like take a picture of the shoes that I want and then I'll go and buy them these ones were really inexpensive they cost me £26.99 that's like half the price of ones up to 70% off nearly so I got these ones I absolutely love them, they're just your standard kind of like slip on but then I love the front and I love the tie dye and obviously tie dye is in this year, I've always been a tie dye type of girl so I had to get them, I actually don't own anything purple to wear it with but we'll, we'll work with it and yeah just look like that, I haven't actually worn them yet, I took the sticker off the tag which little fun fact if you didn't know the Rand's tag is actually a sticker. I used to always throw them away thinking it was just a standard paper tag. It's actually a sticker. Mind blown. But yeah. And here's $26.99. I got them in a UK 7. They were actually men's, but the difference between men and women's and Rand's, I actually do not know. They all look unisex in my opinion. That's what I love about Rand's. And yeah. 
I absolutely love them. I love the tie dye in them. I feel like these would be a staple piece for holiday or summer. So then the next band I'm going to show you is a pair of old schools. So I already purchased these last year. I'm going to show you the skate highs for these as well because I do have the skate highs as well as the old schools because <laughs> I'm extra like that. So I got these. Now if you saw my sneaker pickup number six, which I did last year somehow, you would have seen that I've already got these. I still actually have them and I think I'm going to sell them really cheap because they've been pretty much worn to death like the front of the shoe. My old ones had a hole in it nearly but there's just standard black and navy ones and yeah just got the rand logo at the back and then yeah i just think they're really cool and they're like a staple piece and these are not very popular don't know why because i think they're sick and i got them in a uk 7 and what i love about these ones is this bit here is um like a fleece cushioned material so it's nice and comfortable the only thing is all these and the back of it is leather in the inside and it did kind of like rub me a little bit but after a few wears you break into them got these from Foot Locker surprise surprise because Foot Locker was doing 25% off when I bought them so I was like hmm 25% off got them for 43 99 absolutely love them and yeah so to top that off I also got the high tops but I got the high tops last year and um, got them last year October the high tops I saw these on sale on Office, so if you're interested in getting these, go on Office. Got the high tops for them. And the high tops I've only think I've worn three times. And yeah. Exactly the same as these ones. Well, they're just a high top. As you can tell. I must be extra, like I actually had the same shoe. My card was full because I did just previously film this video and I forgot to delete the footage and then I have my memory card. Anyway, as I was saying, I've got the high tops as well. Um, I worn these high tops I think three times and I got them for 40, I think they were £43 from um, ASOS got them last year. And I absolutely love them. I will be doing a Vans collection 2019, watch this space. It's just trying to figure out how to film. 45 pairs of shoes that I'm going to have to try on and show you on my feet because I don't want to sit down and talk about 45 pairs of trainers so we're going to move on to my last two pairs of vans so these are the comfy cush so they are different I will do a comparison of the old school not the old schools the normal vans and the comfy cush vans don't know why I was doing like that but yeah so I got these old school ones in checkerboard you can't beat a good checkerboard trainer and I love the colourway. I'm not really keen on the fact that it's like a um, cream colour. I don't know if that's not showing up. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the fact that it's cream. But that's the bottom of it. You can see the inside of the actual sole. It says Comfy Cush. I thought it said Comfy Crush but it's Comfy Cush. Like, it's a weird name for a shoe. But I absolutely love them. I got them from Foot Asylum for £30. Got them in a UK size 7. And it comes with that inside the shoe. I'm just going to pop that back in. I accidentally did take it out. And yeah. I absolutely love them. Let's it up close. You'll be able to see these on my feet when I do my Vans collection. And yeah. Got them. Pretty nice. I think they would look good with a... Oh god. How do I get these back in the box? I think they would look good with like an all black outfit with a nice printed t-shirt. And then the last pair of vans that I got is another pair of Comfy Cush. And I got the Skate High ones in lapis blue. And yeah, I think they're quite cool. So you can see the picture of the shoe on the box, which I absolutely love. It's like that on my other old school ones. But the packaging fell out. Anyway, I'm going to go straight into this one. So, these ones I got start of this, not start this month. I think I got them the end of June. No, it should be in June now. I think I got them the end of May, maybe. I can't actually remember. It was quite recent, but can't remember. I remember when Love Island started, I got them, but anyway. So these are the skate highs. I actually own a few coloured block skate highs, but I don't own that many skate highs. I'm trying to get back into skate highs because the first ever vans I ever bought were skate highs. So, yeah. That's just. I can't even see myself now. That's just them. As you can see, it just says Comfy Cush. Which I think is quite cool. 
and this is your standard nice like cobalt blue it's called lapis blue but I don't really know the difference and then that's the so it does say one more of these components on this product is a dyed material leather textile canvas weight etc there's a possibility that some color migration may occur during use so if you wear white this might go into your clothes difference between these ones and oh, difference between these ones and these ones is you can see the soles different oh, that's perfect you can see the soles different and they don't look as high but i think they are the same length in height and inside it's actually cushioned and yeah i've got these for 30 pound as well they're super light so i recommend even a skip getting one pair to try out i've had a lot of bad reviews about these but i haven't really worn them yet but i tried them on and they feel comfortable i actually laced mine through the little lacing bit there i don't normally do that but I thought, why not? And yeah, absolutely love them. Can't wait to wear them. And yeah, from Foot Asylum for £30, UK size 7. They're actually men's. I didn't realise we were men's. I didn't realise we were comfy cush, but it is what it is. And then we're moving on to my... Um, which one? My Adidas and my Converse. My Converse are my favourite sneakers I've picked up so far this year. It eliminates all of the ones that i picked up. So these are the Adidas 80 Continentals in... Don't really know what that says, it's in German, but yep. So I got these back in January. I don't know if I was still able to buy, but I got them back in January. It was a present from me to me for my 23rd birthday. I was gonna show you my Falcons, but it was really hard to get them out of the cupboard because where I keep all my shoes is in a cupboard, and one day I'll show you like where I keep all my sneakers. You'll be like, whoa, okay. And it's like Jenga, so I was pulling out boxes trying to like get them back in and take them out, but it was just impossible to get on my falcon so it's just like it's not happening so i got these ones because if you can't see i stuck my shoes there but you don't need to see that that's behind the scenes so these are the adidas 80s continentals and they just look like that is it gonna show up that's there so it just got adidas there it's so hard to show these because they're so bloody bright it's not coming up on camera that well but yeah, these are actually men's, got them from the men's section. From Foot Asylum, yet again, and they look like that, and that's the other shoe. I actually haven't worn them yet. Don't really know why, I think it's just because they were such a bright shoe, and I already own Adidas Yeezys, well, not Adidas, I already own Yeezy Boost 350s in the semi clothing yellow, so it's like, I already have a pair of green shoes, but these are like extra green, and yeah, just look like that. So it's so hard to show these on camera because it just doesn't really do justice but yeah got them in a UK 8 um normally a seven and a half in Adidas so I should have known that when I had my Yeezys but I didn't really think but yeah um I think they're available to buy on Adidas website and they're on sale for like 45 pounds I got mine for 34.99 from Foot Asylum bargain and then the last sneaker, we reached the end. We reached the end and got one more. This is my favourite sneaker of all time. My favourite one I've bought in a long time. These ones remind me of my first pair of runs that I bought, which were leopard print skate highs. And I had to just replace them, but I couldn't obviously find the leopard print skate highs. I bought them like six years ago now, nearly. And um, I was just like, yep, gonna get these ones. So I got a pair of Converse, that's what it says in the box. The box is really annoying because the lid doesn't shut properly. I did take out the packaging because I just didn't like it. But I was gonna do this with an unboxing, but I don't think anyone wants to see me unbox with a pair of standard Converse. I might also do a Converse collection because now I own, I think, six pairs, seven pairs of Converse. So I will include these if I do do a sneak. Um, the collection for Converse. So these are the Leopard Print Skate Highs. They're only exclusive to a few different websites. I got these from Office. To be fair, a lot of different companies sell them for different prices, which is really annoying because they were £70 on ASOS, but the £60, the £55, no, I think they're £55 on Office, but they're these really nice Leopard Print. So they don't look like Converse, but if I turn it around, you can see the Converse label. And then it says that back. I actually already own pink Converse and high top, so I to think then. But they look like that. Absolutely love them to bits. I'll just do like a 360. 
I love the soul. I kind of wish the soul was black, but I can see what they're doing because like the shoe goes from light to dark, I guess. But your standard Converse. Got them in a UK size 7. Um, I'm not a big fan of Converse. I said that I've got a pair in my hand. But what I like about Converse is they're a staple piece and they are uncomfortable. They're a lot more uncomfortable than Doc Martens and Rand's. And they take a lot breaking into because they're, they're so flat. But absolutely love them. And yeah, can't wait to wear these in the summer. I need to get a pair of black leg 30 jeans, Jenny jeans and a nice little cute printed top. And yeah, got them for 53 99 I wouldn't have to get them any cheaper than that, but yeah, absolutely love them. They also have black ones. They're all black and it's got like C here, but I just wanted like your a standard kind of like original Converse. And the detailing on that, absolutely love it. And yeah, so that is all my sneakers that I've picked up so far this year, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'm picking up any more anytime soon. The ones that I wanted to get is the Nike Air 720s, I think they're called. Something like that, that's the next pair on my list. Comment down below which ones you're picking up this year, which ones you want to get. Comment down below what other videos you want to see me do. I was thinking of doing more sneaker pickup videos because they're quite popular on my channel. And as I said, I will be doing a Vans collection very, very soon, but it's just trying to find a way to film 45 pairs. But yeah, thank you for watching, and if you don't follow me on social media, then I'll link it down below in the description box, and I'll link it here and here. So my Instagram is at Serena B, and my Twitter is at Serena EB. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye!